With all the great password managers I've covered on this channel, think NordPass, Keeper, and 1Password, I can't help but wonder, does Google Password Manager also deliver a place on our list? It's a free option, and by now we know that that usually translates to weak security measures and lackluster features. So how does it stack up against all my other star students? Well, we're about to find out in today's Google Password Manager review. Later on, I'll be covering some alternatives too, but first let's go over exactly how Google Password Manager works. Unlike my other recommendations, this is a web-based tool and currently does not have a standalone app. It's available on all platforms and Android devices exclusively via the Chrome browser. Unfortunately, this means a major limitation for anyone using Apple devices or browsers other than Chrome. That said, I did at least find it very easy to sync Chrome passwords across all my devices. Now, Google Password Manager 2025 is authenticated by using your Google email and password. It's worth noting that since this is the same account you use to log into your Gmail and Google Drive, it's a high security concern if anything gets breached. By default, Chrome already encrypts passwords while syncing. However, there's also an optional setting to encrypt passwords before syncing on the server, which implies that Google indeed has access to your passwords unless end-to-end -end encryption is manually enabled. That said, there isn't actually any clear information online about which encryption the Google Password Manager utilizes. Some sources seem to hint at it being AES-256, which is a strong option we frequently see used in VPNs. However, other sources claim that Google doesn't publicly disclose its encryption. Since a password manager is supposed to provide users with peace of mind for their online security, the lack of transparency here leaves us asking, is Google Password Manager good at keeping our data safe? Moving on from security, features-wise, I noticed that this tool only has a few basic offerings. There's a password generator, which is handy. However, it does have a 15-character limit. I found autofill to work just fine, and while the password checkup is useful, it's pretty weak compared to some alternative providers I'll show you in a minute. Additionally, the Google Password Manager also lacks other advanced security features or 2FA integration outside of the Google ecosystem. Now, like I mentioned, this password manager is free of charge, but with those potential data privacy concerns, we're still wondering, can you trust Google Password Manager? Especially since we know Google itself stores user data like crazy. Everything from your browsing habits, search history, personal information, and even physical location is all tracked on their platform and used to create customized ads. So you have to ask yourself, is the free price tag really worth your data? With these questions in mind, let's take a look at a few alternative providers that I've already qualified as some of the best password manager options on the market, starting with NordPass. When we cover NordPass versus Google Password Manager security measures, there's definitely a difference in both transparency and strength. NordPass uses XCHAcha20 encryption, which delivers some of the best security and performance when compared to other commonly used algorithms. This software is regularly audited as well, so we have proof that the app's infrastructure is certifiably secure. Taking privacy a step further, their zero-knowledge architecture guarantees no one, not even NordPass employees, can see your personal data. And even with all these top-tier security measures in place, the NordPass app remains super user-friendly and easy to navigate. It's available on all major operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. Plus, there are browser extensions on Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Opera, and Safari. I don't have time to dive into all the useful NordPass features, but I'll list a few. The Password Health Checker monitors all your passwords and flags them if they're overused, outdated, or just too weak. This helps to maintain maximum login security at all times. With the Data Breach Scanning feature, you can add vulnerable data, like email addresses or banking info, and the app will scan the web and notify you if there has been a data breach. And since openly sharing passwords to your friends via email or messages is about as risky as it comes, the password sharing feature also offers a solution for this. Now you can securely send sensitive information to other NordPass users. Not only does it encrypt the credentials, but you can also customize the amount of access each recipient has. While there is a limited free version available, the premium barely costs over five quarters a month, and I'd say getting all those advanced security features is well worth a handful of change. Then the family plan has an even better bang for your buck, costing just a bit more and allowing you to add up to six simultaneous users. And to help you get any of the premium plans at an exclusively low price, I'm leaving a QR code coupon on screen and a link in the description. 
All right, for our next provider comparison today, Google Password Manager versus Keeper. Though it's not as powerful as NordPass's choice, Keeper uses AES-256 encryption, which is still a good option. Plus, the app supports two-factor authentication to protect you during login. Keeper can be used across all major operating systems and has plenty of browsing extension options to choose from. There's also a good amount of additional features, including unlimited secure file storage, dark web monitoring for extra security, and biometric login support that scans your face ID or fingerprint. While there isn't a free plan available, the amount of security features and storage still make this password manager a worthy investment. Now, if you're looking for an option that yes is on the pricier side, but also delivers unique features to boost security, then my next provider, 1Password, is ideal. This app uses the same encryption as Keeper. However, it has a proprietary secret key feature that is given to each user. This 34-character combination grants you, and only you, access to your 1Password account. Like my other suggestions today, this password manager is also available on all devices, from Mac OS, Windows, and Linux to Android and iOS, not to mention all the browser extension options. Features-wise, there's a good amount available. Travel mode is handy if you're traveling and want to separate vaults, then customize their accessibility until you return. Watchtower ensures the health of your passwords always stay up to par and notifies you if adjusting is needed, while their secure file storage offers a safe space to keep sensitive information. Like I mentioned, 1Password does have the highest price tag of the day. However, there is a 14-day free trial available, which is perfect for testing the waters before deciding. So what are my final thoughts on this review of NordPass, Keeper, and 1Password versus Google Password Manager? Google Password Manager is free and better than nothing, but it just lacks the security and flexibility that comes with the other options. I mean, we still don't even know what encryption algorithm it uses. So if you're fine with basic password storage and Google's ecosystem, then yes, this option works. But is that really enough when we're talking about the privacy of your most sensitive data and passwords? If on the other hand, you're serious about privacy and security, then NordPass Keeper and 1Password are all safe, reliable choices. And remember to save money on any of their subscriptions, use the discount QR code on screen or click the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and feel free to check out our other cyber news reviews on screen now. See ya.